now that we have a wall slide, we're going to do a wall jump. First, I'm going to go to mixamo.com and look for a wall jumping animation. Here's one. Download 60 frames per second. I'm going to rename it wall jump. And I'm going to drag it in into my Unity, one of the folders. I'm going to put it into my humanoid animations folder. Here it is, wall jump. Do the usual stuff, turn it into a humanoid. Apply, configure. Sample T bind pose, apply, done. Go into the animation tab, rename it, wall jump. And we're not going to use the entire animation. Maybe from here the jumping part, something like that. Make sure that it's based on the feet. Apply. So here's the animation. And because we're turning, we want to rotate the animation 180. Apply. I'm going to go into my animator window for the business mail. And next to wall slide, I'm going to drag in the wall jump. Let me go under my states folder, abilities. I'm going to create a new C sharp script, call it wall jump. Press Ctrl T, find some other ability. Copy paste the format. Rename it wall jump. And start with a clean script. And as soon as we go into the wall jump, we're going to make the character turn. So if the character is facing forward, if it's facing forward, we'll face the other way. And in the other case, face forward. Save and go back. I'm going to create a wall jump folder. Wall jump and create the wall jump ability. Player wall jump and add it to the wall jump state. In order to make the transition, I'm going to go into the wall slide, create an indexer, transition indexer, player wall slide to wall jump indexer one, index is one, and the condition is that you press jump and make the transition. No exit time. And I want the transition to be instant because we're turning. You don't
don't want to mix two animations when turning the character box collider. Okay, and the condition is that index equals one. If I play, I'm going to do the wall slide. I think we forgot to add the indexer to the state. I'll play again. So here's the wall slide and then the wall jump. The problem with this is that you can hold down space and as soon as you do a wall slide, you're going to transition into the wall jump. So it's really weird trying to let go of space before you hit the wall, hit forward, and then jump. To prevent this, I'm going to go back to the code, animation progress, and I'll create a bowl here. Public bowl can wall jump. Let me go back to the wall slide folder. As soon as you go into the slow down fall, I'm going to say that can wall jump is false. And then in the update, if you let go of the space key, can wall jump will be go back will be back to true. So if jump is false, you can now wall jump. And in order to use this as a transition condition, I'll press Control T again, go into the indexer, and add a condition can wall jump. Go down and make the case. So we're looking for the bull in the animation progress. If we cannot wall jump, return false. Save all the code, go back to Unity, to the wall slide folder, and for the indexer, I'm going to add another condition here, can wall jump. And if I play again, I'm going to hold down space again, and now you're not transitioning back to, or transitioning into the jump immediately, you have to let go and then press again if you want to go into the jump. Okay. And when you do go into the jump, first I want to get rid of the velocity. I want to stop for a split second. Velocity is zero. Now all we got to do is make the jump, go back to Unity, and I'm just going to make a transition here from wall jump to jump normal, which is simply going to make the character jump because it's a jump normal state. It's just like a normal jump. I'm going to say that it has an exit time. So as soon as this animation gets finished, the character is going to jump by going into the jump normal state. So this is a prep stage. Okay, transition looks all right. And as you jump off the wall, you want the character to move forward away from the wall. Move forward player wall jump 
move forward. Arc direction, arc direction, x state, constant. You're not going to turn during the wall jump. Speed graph. I'll start kind of slow and then pick up the speed. Maybe 30%. Just going to guess the speed to block distance 0 0.1. And add the ability to the wall jump. Move forward. And play. We'll see what happens. Okay, so as soon as you do the wall jump, you kind of move the other way. You can use your arrow keys or the direction keys to either go left or back right. I want to make the speed a little faster. And the animation, I think it's too slow. I'll double the speed of the animation. Okay. I think that looks a lot more natural. Maybe that was too fast. 1.5. Okay, doesn't look too bad. I think the feet might be going too much into the wall. I'm going to do some fine tuning for the wall jump animation. Okay, maybe start earlier, like 25. I'll try this. One point two five here. Okay. I guess we can't prevent the, the foot going into the wall. I'll deal with that later. Or maybe I'll try this part of the animation. Hmm, doesn't make any difference. Twenty to thirty five. Try this. Hmm, I like that. It's much better. Maybe a little more animation. I think it looks all right. I think it's good enough. I'll do more fine tuning later. For now, the wall jump is kind of working. Right now, the movement force is not enough, but I think I'm going to create a separate jump. So, a separate jump for the wall jump, and then I'm going to speed it up. 
because right now we're just moving forward just a little bit. The up force I think is enough, but I'll add more move force later on. Because right now it's just too easy to go back and climb infinitely. Okay, I also need to add the transition from the fall or the running jump. Right now it's just transitioning from the normal jump to the wall slide. And I'm going to try it on the other side. Okay. Maybe the transitioning animation is a little too slow. Kind of feels like lag. Let me try three. Maybe even four. Something like that. Okay, four is too much. Three point two. Six. Hmm. Okay. Looks like every time we change the speed, we have to look at the transition graph again, which is painful, but just got to keep trying. See what fits. All right, back to two point two five ish. Okay, I think it's good enough. Again, let me go to the other side. Okay. Now, here's another major issue that I saw from the last video. Because we have the wall slide, if I try to do a ledge grab, can't do that anymore. This is a serious bug. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to go back to the code, the indexer, and might as well create another condition not grabbing ledge, which is just the opposite of grabbing ledge. Grabbing ledge, not grabbing ledge, just the opposite. I'm going to go back to the animator and from the wall slide, I'm going to make a transition back to the ledge grab, hanging idle. exit time. Wall slide. Make another indexer. Transition 
indexer player wall, sl wall slide to ledge grab indexer 2 index is 2 and the condition is that you're grabbing ledge so when you're grabbing a ledge from the wall slide you go into the hanging idle the ledge grab let's test it so here's the wall slide you forgot to add the ability don't know why I keep doing this keep making the same mistake okay that was a little too quick but we got from the slide immediately into the ledge grab It's happening too quickly. You can't see it, but we're now preventing the case where the slide is preventing the, the grab. Okay, you saw it right there. And let me also take a look at the indexer. That goes from jump normal to the grab. Let's grab indexers or the slide indexers. Let me add a condition not grabbing ledge. play again okay okay it's hard to see the difference until you press it yourself and see what it's like we do have some slight bugs like going up infinitely or you might also have a situation where you just keep sliding down I should have a fix for this but I think we've done enough for a single video let me test it here okay and everything else is the same So that's it for this video. We're going to do more in the next. I'll see you next time.